Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome back to another episode of Trucking Diaries. Now, in the last episode, if you remember, we drove up the coast. Uh, we went from LA here, we went up all the way up through Santa Cruz, lovely little coastal road there. And on the way, we picked up a recruitment agency, which was just here in LA. And then we picked up another one just there in Santa Cruz. So that's good. It means when we come to high drivers, we'll have more choice, which is always great. Ideally, I would like to sort of head up the coast here. Uh, through San Fran would be perfect. Golden Gate Bridge is just there. Uh, and San Fran's roads are quite hilly, as they are in San Fran. So it'd be cool to get up the coast. Let's have a look in the job market. Uh, Santa Cruz. Of course, we could go anywhere, but I'm just trying to keep it as if we've got our own truck a little bit, if we can. Uh, digger, seven tons. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Where's that going? San Rafael. It's fantastic. All right, so that's the coastal road. In what? In a Kenny? That's fine. In a red Kenny with a seven ton digger. It's a high value cargo paying $3,000, which is, that takes every box. The only thing is it's going to be a nighttime drive because of the fact that it's 9.26 p.m., which is a bit annoying because it means we're going to go on through San Fran and probably the Golden Gate Bridge at night. There's a better, better, bit of a possibility will appear there in the morning, but it's pretty unlikely. Let's take it. All right, first things first, let's have a look at the map. See if we can unlock some more roads. Now, what if we go that way instead of that way? What will that get us? It'll get us a little bit more road, so we'll do that. Uh, we've not been up here, so we'll save. Look at that, that's weird. We'll stick on the road here because this is all undiscovered for us. Uh, past a fuel station, don't need to worry about this. Now, we could go different ways. We could go that way. Or we could go that way. There's nothing to stop us doing either, to be honest. Um, if we go that way, what happens? Huh, interesting. To me, that looks like a, a, a more arterial road anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Then we go through the toll bridge, then we go over the Golden Gate, and then it's, wow, look at that, it's right on the other side. If we go via that, what happens? Oh, we have to turn around. Ah, that sucks a bit. Okay, let's not do that. Cool, let's, uh, let's get us started. Let's get rid of that display. Let's get the lights on. And let's rock and roll. Which way are we going? We going this way? Yep. Looks like that's the way out. Ooh, that only just fit. Look at this. In complete contrast to our last delivery, which is pretty super short. It just got white mud flaps on the back, look. This is a red sleeper Kenny. It's actually quite a nice truck, this one. Definitely beyond what we should be driving at our level, I would have thought. That's the, the one thing I don't quite get. Although with a quick job market, I kind of like the fact that it lets you try out different trucks. Like, different configurations of truck. Um, given that you're a new driver, I would have thought that you'd only be given, you know, the more basic trucks. Because they wouldn't really... And the other thing is, uh, why would you be given a sleeper truck anyway on a job like this? It's only 200 miles. So, although I appreciate that they're doing it, probably to just let you play around the different configurations, it is kind of odd. But let's not complain too much. <laughs> that over there, is that... I can't quite see. But it's a, it's a day cab with a double container trailer. Oh, it's the police. It's the cops. There, you see it? Let's lock in that cruise control. Let's change the information page so I can see my cruise control. There it is. 28 MPH. Sounds good. Let's get behind this ambulance. A lot of emergency services out in force tonight. What the heck was that? That was the curb. <laughs> branch. Oh, beach area. That's a branch area. Beach area. Okay. Oh, don't do that to me, broski. Do 
Interesting that the Kenworth doesn't have a digital speedometer display. So if I cycle through that with the I key, I get fuel, I get water temperatures, fuel economy, I get my cruise control, and that's it. Which is kind of surprising because on the on the Peterbilt, when you cycle through the I key, you get a you get a large digital display which shows you your current speed, and it is very useful. Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't know, if you're behind a cop car and you're speeding, he will book you. And if there's a cop car going the other side of the road, like on the other side coming the other way, and you're speeding, he will book you. So don't think for one minute that they have to be behind you. The cops in American Truck Sim are pretty brutal. <laughs> I've already seen mods out there that remove all the cops. That's how much they're loved right now. I actually don't want that myself, but I would like to see them um, reduced in number. I think currently there are too many of them. There are too many cops. Um, and you get, you get hit with fines far too frequently. And it can annoy people. You know, because the fines are pretty hefty. So I think it'll probably... My, my thought would be it'll get adjusted in American Truck Sim. It'll, it'll get toned down a little bit. Or maybe, you know, occasionally they'll turn a blind eye and... Or even if, like, they're in front of you, you know, there'll be a reduced chance that they'll book you for speeding. Because, let's face it, if, if they're in front of you anyway, you can't really speed for long. Because you're going to the back of them at the end of the day. They, they always obey the speed limit, so if you're not obeying the speed limit, if you're over the limit, you're going to go into the back. So you have to slow down. But what tends to catch you out is if you're going, like, down a hill and you suddenly sp you speed up and then you approach a cop car... It just catches you out and boom, he has you. It's just so annoying. I can't wait to see a mod that changes that to Walmart because it's clearly Walmart and it's bound to become Walmart as the mods start to come out. Alright, break on. Yo, yo! I also want to see more interesting trailers in this game. I can't wait for more interesting things. I'm so used to European Truck Sim and having mods that just give you just the most amazing trailers. You know, because this is currently a completely default game. It's so strange to go back to default trucks, default scenery, default everything. And it'd be really nice to drop some real names in there, real brand names. Soon. My plan is for the American truck, uh, Trucking Diaries that I will drop mods in uh, to sort of change things up a bit, particularly around trailers and trucks, because, you know, I want to get more interesting trailers, particularly the more, you know, the stuff like the oversized trailers, and I also want better trucks than we've currently got available as well, because we've only got two trucks available currently in the game. Uh, so, you know, we're going to get mods for that, so we can get some nice configurations going. I think that makes the most sense. But I'll try to go easy on the mods. I don't want to get crazy with it. But then again, you know, when when map extensions start to come out, it's going to be worth looking at that because it's going to give us new places to drive. Oh, that's an example of 55 miles per hour not being viable in a truck. I actually feel like we're going too fast for the road. I'm going to slow down. <laughs> I tell you what though when you drive at night in this game it's uh, it's so peaceful I mean look at this there's hardly any cars coming the other way of course when we get to San Fran it'll be a bit busier but right now it's just us and a blue sky and the stars and an open road it's gorgeous I, w I hope somebody comes up with a mod as well that... Oh, I tell you what, this would be a cool mod. I bet it's not possible. But this would be a cool mod. If it warned you about speed limit changes, because an American truck sim, there's just no warning of a speed limit change. 
Now, I have worked out that when obviously you get near a city, the city border, it will drop down to 30 or 35. So I'm, I'm getting caught out by that a bit less. But I'd still like to have something that says, you know, beep. Speed limit in 200 meters is about to change. That's all I'd need. Just a simple warning. But I doubt they can mod that. Maybe you could mod the signs so they're just big and obvious. <laughs> like flashing red lights going 30 miles per hour. It's a shame we can't see this road in the day. Oh well, maybe another time. I like the steam that comes off the water. The trouble is that steam though is, is here in the day and at night. It never really goes anywhere. So it's just fixed. Whereas you'd expect to see that probably in the daytime, I would have thought, when it's, or even evening possibly, after a hot day. I've not seen a single truck on the road yet. It's just not, it's just us. It's unbelievable. This is almost like multiplayer. Lol. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up, I think, into a city. So there you go. Speed limit change. There you see it. City limit. Sound fan. Boom. Speed's 30. That's the kind of thing I'm only just getting used to. Uh -huh, there are other vehicles. Oh, scumbag lights. I'm going to stay back here. Let's put that brake on. Is that offices? Looks like offices. Johnny's takeout. There's plenty of those kicking around. Pharmacy. Okay, I think we're on the outskirts of San Fran now. Hence why it suddenly got busy. Even at half past midnight. If it's anything like London, it doesn't really sleep. Still pondering what truck to get, you know. At level 5. Do I go with a Kenny or a Peterbilt, or do I look for a uh, a truck mod for my first truck and get something different? Something that's not yet in the game. What do we do with our first truck? I guess I'd like to pick a truck that we can do many miles in, you know? In trucking diaries. Something that, that's a keeper. Which almost makes me want to go with a truck mod, because that way I can accessorize it later. Has more configuration options. So maybe I've just answered my own question. Maybe I need to go looking for a trucking mod. <laughs> now we're in San Fran. You see the hills are not quite as steep as they are in San Fran, of course. San, Fran's much, San Fran is much steeper. But... Uh-oh. Interesting. An automatic gearbox and it just stalled. <laughs> How does that work? That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, there's one thing about San Fran is you're always on a hill. They must get situations where Somebody loses that somebody like loses the ball or something and it just rolls all the way down the hill and then just keeps going. That must happen. Oh you scumbag lights. It's making me work. This patch of grass over here. This, this area here, I'm sure I've seen this on YouTube, on a, um, a drone, like with a GoPro camera. In fact, I'm sure it was like an Adobe tutorial about video editing. 
And the drone flew from this grass verge. It kind of flew over the buildings there with like a wide angle GoPro on it. And then they brought the video footage in and started editing it. They're like color correcting it and stuff. I'm sure it was that area. It looks identical. And that was San Fran. Yo, how's it going? Morning to you. You feel safe in a convertible at what? One o'clock in the morning? Two o'clock in the morning? You're not chilly? I suppose you've got a police escort though. That's good. Cocktails. So there's all these side roads you can go down as well. Look at the tram line down the middle as well. I've got I've actually been on this tram. That tram is so cool. If you ever go to San Fran. You have to tell you what though, allow plenty of time because the queue for it is massive. You have to queue for about 45 minutes to an hour. But it's so worth it. You can either sit inside or you can um there are some seats on the outside as well. And then you can also stand and like hang off the thing. It's pretty crazy. If you want to get the best view, you want to stand up and hang off. Um, that's the best view. But it is pretty fantastic. It'll take you... There's like a number of them. And they, they, they go into the city centre. The big shopping area. And they take you out to the... Uh, what's it called down here? The, where the ports are, the docks. But the proper old school. You know, there's no electrics, no electronics on. They're all mechanically done. There's a guy, we've got these massive levers that he pulls to engage the drive. That's this bell, like, it's all proper old school stuff. Fascinating, though. Woohoo, a green light! See, although we've locked in the cruise at 26. Oh, wow, it's raining! Oh, my life, it's raining! Unbelievable! What are the chances? It's raining in San Fran? I bet this doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I was told that in California it doesn't rain very often. But when it does rain, it rains. <laughs> I suspect that's what we're seeing right now. What? Absolutely the best time to travel over the Golden Break Gate Bridge is 3 o'clock in the morning at night when it's raining and you can't see anything. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was kind of hoping to give you a nice view. But as you can see, that's the Golden Gate Bridge over there. And we can't see a thing. Now it's 55 here, but when we get through the toll bridge and we get on the bridge itself, it drops down to 40. So there is that. <laughs> I can't think of any worse conditions to, uh, to take you to Golden Gate Bridge than this. That's brilliant. I remember I said to you at the start of this journey, well, maybe, you know, it'll be uh, early morning when we get to the Golden Gate. We might see something with the sun coming up. <laughs> Lol. Best laid plans. There you are. So it's just a one of those drive-through toll booths, so we don't need to stop. It will actually bill us on the way back, I think. Okay, I'm going to drop my speed back to 40 now and then just lock it in cruise control because there you go. That's the 40 limit right there. It was a lot nicer when I went. Alcatraz is over there, which you can't see. At least it's lit. Uh-oh. Sorry, bro. Golden Gate Bridge. So, when we get to the other side, I think the drop-off point, if I remember, is pretty much at the end. 44 miles, there you go. So we come out of the bridge, I think there's a tunnel. But yeah, it's not a long drive. 
to Sacramento. Just on the right there, in real life, there's actually a visitor's area. Like a plateau bit there. Just just on our right. You can pull over, it's like a big car park and a um, an information centre. And you get a cracking view of the bay on a nice day, of course. But they obviously didn't stick, stick that in. They could have stuck that in, actually, because they could have made it into a rest area. I don't know how useful it would have been, but they could have done that. At least it doesn't rain in tunnels. I seem to remember a Euro truck uh, in the early days. It used to rain in the tunnels. Oh, now the rain goes. Now the sun starts coming up. Let me get rid of those bits of water. It's, a, it's weird, that tunnel. It's almost like we just... I don't know. Drove between a portal or something. Now, one minute, it's night time and throw it down the rain and then the next bit oh no the rain's coming back a bit I was about to say then we came out the other side of the tunnel it was beautiful sunny morning but it looks like the rain's not gone just yet how long do we need to rest? six hours? blimey okay right turn no traffic lights Delivery point is here, I think. Bitumen. Uh, presume this is it. Yep. This looks like the place. 5.40 a.m. San Rafael discovered. Awesome. <laughs> it's actually chucking it down. Look at this. Looks like they've got quite a bit of uh, plant equipment here. get over here because this is a fairly long trailer. So I'm going to make sure we use the whole of this yard up. Now I think I've already messed this up in the planning because I may not have enough room to make that turn now. Let's see how it goes. Let's bring that mirror up. Let's head towards the wall quickly. Get that trailer turning. Actually we're okay, I think. Let's keep the turn going. Watch that mirror. Okay, now we need to be careful of the wing on the truck, which is about to be scratched. Not that it's my truck, so I don't care that much, but I don't want to be penalised for it. Okay, that's looking good. Hopefully it'll accept that. Yep. Parking brake on. Mirror off. What a cool drop-off. <laughs> Completely unexpected weather. Alright, it should take us towards level 5. Next job should be level 5, I reckon. Come on, give me that XP. Yes! Definitely next level. Definitely going to level up on the next journey. $3,000 in the bank. Perfect run. Excelente. Uh, $33,000 in the bank now. This is nice. This is nice. It means I can get like a 100 grand loan. And we can afford to get a truck with maybe a few accessories on top as well. So yeah, next journey we're going to hit level 5 and then I'm going to be buying a truck. It's getting exciting. Okay, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Until next time, take care. Happy trucking.